that's a good shout. We could do that. I had a really good suggestion of an app to try sideloading on the Supernote Manta, which is Ink Brow, of course, because, well, that is a app which is designed to be used on e-ink it's a browser designed to be used on e-ink and actually it does work pretty darn well on here would say that supernote doesn't go into an x mode but actually scrolling on that it's not looking too bad so let's just go ahead and go to another tab starting google why not yeah got it yeah you understand that it's a limitation to e-ink ghosting's not too bad you know if you need to go to the internet here. This is gonna be a better experience than going on the built-in sort of Android browser, the very basic browser that you get that it does actually work if you type in a URL. You can actually go and Google things on here. I haven't tried logging in, but there are loads of e-ink related options down here as well. What's that one doing then? Oh, that makes it a scroll down that changes the areas which are sensitive to press. Could be very, very useful. Pure reading mode, that's very nice. So you can switch between having the images or just having the article. Well, that's very nice. And then bookmarks, as you'd expect, a back button. Refresh the page. You might find, because these icons are pretty small, I'm finding it difficult just to tap them each time. You might find using the pen to actually actuate those would be better. Nice, you'll be able to bookmark things in Ink Pro. And all of these different settings look. Send and receive some links, open EPUB, save as PDF, useful. So yeah, certainly one of the things that you should certainly be looking to sideload will be e-ink bro. The first thing I sideloaded, and in fact, the only thing you need to sideload the complicated way is Aurora store, in my opinion. You use the ADB thing with the, with the USB cable. It's a little app that you run in a terminal on Windows, and then you can install Aurora store APK. And once you've got Aurora Store APK, then Aurora Store can search and get you whatever you like. As long as it's in their repository, which most things will be. Ink Bro, wasn't it? Ink Bro was on F-Droid, but not Aurora Store. So there you go. You need to install those two things. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. Yep, got it. Ink Bro. That doesn't seem to have it in there, so I would need to. To install an APK on your Supernote, you need to install something called Platform Tools. And then you can go ahead and unzip that and run ADB in a terminal and then use the command dot backslash ADB install and then the name of your APK file that you want to install. As long as you've got your Supernote connected by a cable and as long as you've got the APK in the same folder as ADB, it should be just straightforward without anything else to do other than that. This is what you'll see and you'll see it will say success at the end. And there it is in the more tab, you've now got that app that you've installed. I did wonder if you could actually install and log into Chrome on here. So let's try that. And whilst I do that, have you got any other suggestions of apps that you'd like me to try on here? do let me know. One of the things that I do suggest that you do is download the Aurora Store and F-Droid. That's the sort of first things you should download because if you do that, you won't have to use the sort of terminal to actually install apps on there. Aurora Store doesn't seem to have Google Chrome in it. Does F-Droid have it then? So those two stores will act a little bit like, yeah, no matching applications there. So clearly Google aren't wanting you to install Google Chrome any other way than via the Google Play Store. And this won't be actually Google Play certified. Although I did read a Reddit post recently where someone has managed to hack it and go ahead and let it be Google Play Protect certified. That's what you have to do. You have to manually register what's called a GSF ID, I think. And that will allow you to actually have Google treat this like it is a Google certified machine. So you don't really need to add an X mode switch for apps like this. If they want to, then they offer this because it's kind of like rude not to allow you to super, uh, to sideload things onto your own machine. If you, you know, got Android, you can put Android apps on here. It's not ideal. Google Docs doesn't work at all. It seems to be that you can't sign into anything with your Google account, basically. I haven't tried more than just Google Docs, but I did download Google Docs. So if you're thinking, oh, I can actually use Google Docs on there. No, you can't. It just, this is back into Word, look. It just doesn't open at all. Not even that you get to sign in screen at all. So just bear that in mind there. And I think, as I said at the start of this, if they're going to offer this, they might as well offer a some type of X mode that you can actually just switch to for those apps because those apps would work better. I know, well, no Google Docs, but that's something, the thing about Google Apps is you need to be Google Play certified really to use Google Apps, so that's why that is the case there. How do you sideload apps? So it's quite complicated, you have to go ADB on the computer via USB cable, and then you can install your first app store if you like, or you can, in, or you can permanently install those APKs by terminal. Frustratingly, 
probably needlessly complicated. So actually the experience of working in an app like Word wasn't too bad actually. But remember, this isn't going to be your e-ink typewriter. You can use the handwriting keyboard though, but really you should see that side loading option as being if you need to just add a few things, mostly things for reading and for reference. Don't buy this to add apps to it, buy a books tablet to add apps to. Buy this for the bespoke Supernote experience. Buy it for the features that they've added, really well considered, really powerful features for the professional. Don't buy it for the side loading. So it comes with Kindle for instance, but if you need to add the Kobo app or the Libby app, at least you can do that. OneNote was really difficult, I wouldn't recommend that. But again, if you need to perhaps add to them with the very occasional pen annotation or, or just access something that you need to reference for that one-off time on the Supernote, then at least you can do that. And again, because there's just no recent switcher, then you just aren't going to enjoy using this for multitasking in different apps. So don't go there.